Hello, I'm Manny Gonzalez and I'm speaking of stress and today's a wonderful day to be outdoors. We're up in Michigan visiting friends at a campground. Beautiful outdoor place. They have cabins, they have swimming pool, they got everything. So we're enjoying the outdoors and I just want to encourage you before the summer's over while you get a chance get out get out I know some people that are very fearful of everything they're fearful of being out they're fearful of this or of that but you know what I say the good Lord even tells us fear is not what we need to live in it tells us we have to have faith and love and when you do that fear is minimized we're all afraid of certain things however the main thing is live it's time for you to get outdoors get up walk around jog do something be around friends talk to family we're meeting people here at the campgrounds we're walking around and just having a wonderful time it's good to get out and you know one of the healthiest things you can do is get some vitamin D you know about D vitamin D it's great it gives you energy and strength. It's very good for you. <sighs> Along with breathing clean air, that's really good. Along with contacts with people, with the outdoors. Listen to the birds. Listen to the bees. <laughs> Do the bees talk? Oh my God, I talk when they grab me and I have had some bee stings. So that it's important for you to get out. I encourage you go outdoors stop that fear and you know one of the biggest fears you should have a problem with is what we know is really dangerous obesity if you're sitting around and afraid to do so much because whatever is happening you start eating and you start growing <laughs> obesity is one of the biggest killers do you know that it's related to heart attacks it's related to cancer, believe it or not. And of course, diabetes. The line goes down of the long list of problems associated with obesity. And we have an epidemic of obesity. And we have an epidemic of fear. But guess what? If you balance your life, if you think, if you get up, if you're active, watch what you eat a little bit. You don't have to be a vegetarian. but you can watch what you eat, drink a lot of water. I'm not a doc and people make fun of me, say, hey, you think you're a doctor. I says, I ain't no doctor, but look, do I look sick? <laughs> Thank God I'm not sick. I'm healthy, I'm alive, I'm well. I don't take any medications. I don't take any vitamins, matter of fact, I stopped that because I don't need it. Everybody's different. If you're diabetic, take care of it. If you're obese, watch your diet. If you got heart problems, take care of that. If you got high blood pressure, watch what you, there's all these things that you can do, but there's absolutely no reason on God's great earth for you to live in fear. After all, we come into the world and we leave the world. So my day is coming just like your day is coming. Hey, we're gonna leave this earth sooner or later, but you don't have to live in fear. You can enjoy life, you can get outdoors. Take care of yourself. Do what you got to, to balance life. But by all means, please, I beg of you, don't live in fear. Do not live in fear. I repeat, enjoy life. Have faith that God's going to take care of you if you do your part. But you can't expect God to do it all. There's people that are wearing masks and they're very obese. Or they got heart problems and they're just sitting. Give me a break, folks. No offense to any of you. And if you're one of those, hey, I'm sorry about that. But you need to stop living in fear. You need to enjoy life. Get outdoors. Everybody isn't as healthy as I am. And I'm not bragging. I just thank the good Lord. I thank God every day that I'm alive and well. But there's people with illnesses. I understand that. People with situations. I understand that. I worked in mental health for 40 years. I know about anxiety and depression and fear. I know what works. I know what doesn't work. And what doesn't work is that negativity, that fear, that 
fear of people, the fear of things. And I tell people, I'd rather be dead than to live in fear. Because I've had fear in my life, let me tell you. I've had anxiety, horrible anxiety. And thank God it's working out a little bit so that I can function. But if you need to take medications, take your medications. If you need to go to the doc, go to the doc. But if you need to go to the gym, go. If you need to walk, walk. If you need to watch your diet, watch your diet. Whatever it is you got to do to take care of yourself, you got to do. But if you do the right things, you don't have to live in fear. You can trust your doctor. You can go along with their plans. But you can do your part too. Again, I'm not a doctor. I don't pretend to be. But guess what? I take care of myself as I encourage you. Please, take care of yourself. Get outdoors. Stop living in fear. Do whatever it is you can to have a good life. And a good life means being around people, going to church, saying your prayers, forgiving people, cooperating with people, going out of your way for people. And you know my three keys. Number one, put God first. You know that. Number two, laugh. <laughs> you got to laugh. And number three, you got to be thankful. And I thank you for watching. I thank the good Lord for good health. I thank the good Lord for the outdoors. And I thank God for you that listen to Manny Gonzalez with Speaking of Stress. God bless you. I'm going to enjoy the rest of the day. And guess what? They got hot dogs, hamburgers, I hope a little cheesecake. So I'm going to pig out, but I'm going to stay in shape. God bless you, my friends. Thank you so much.